Um, guys, we have to take a quick break. As you see just now, we did have to break it up because it get too emotional. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? This is what um, round the table to call for. All different type of topics. And we're going to need them testimony here. So if you have it, you don't know what to do. So um, I could get back to where you step out in the road and this Rasta female pull her in and say, What you do? There's more to life, you know? Yeah. Um, one of the things she said when she pulled me, she said, You know, God is not true with you. And she said, come here, little girl, what's going on? And she hugged me, like she hugged me for a long while. And she put me in her shop, sat me down, and she said, what is going on? Didn't share a whole lot, but share enough. Enough. That when I got you, and she said, you know, God is not true with you. He might go help you. She said, you're hungry, I say, yeah. So she fed me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it was hard because, you know, you grew up not to eat. Yeah. But anyway, I was hungry, I ate. And so she said, you know, come here when you're hungry. She said, just come. And she said, you know, food is here. Look at God. In our shop. And she talked with me and she encouraged me. And she said, don't give up. I don't know what else you're going through, but just don't give up. And she said, God will open doors for you. And so that year, long story short, went there the next day um, <laughs> to get some food. And when I went there, it was like, um, I think it was a police scene. Mm -hmm. um, somebody robbed her shop and kill her. <gasps> so um, she wasn't there. And the person said, yeah, they kill her, you know, they, the rest of the lady, them rob her shop and them shoot her, kill her. But, you know, one of the things we look at it that, you know, God is good. God we good. use her at the moment and she was obedient to God. Because she said she was sitting there and she said, she had watched me. And she couldn't get her eyes off of me like, what am I doing? And she was, she said she kind of get up. Says something looks strange and off. That's why she was able to get to, to get, me so yeah, to quick. Yeah, to get you so quick. I shall watch you. She yeah, she said something was right. But anyway, fast forward to that. Um, we went to, um, so I was sitting there one day. And this particular person, the same guy, mm -hmm. um, came home. And him showed on some things like normal come from work. And it was this brochure. And, and the brochure um, it show um, <laughs> all these girls like um, um, go go dancers, uh -huh. and I was like looking at it for some reason. Never ever thought of that, but looking at it, I'm, I take it up and I'm sitting there the next day just staring at it. Who throw it? Who throw it? Who throw it down? My son, father. Oh, your son, father. Okay, yeah, he okay. came home that okay, day and okay. just throw it down. So the next day, you know. Um, I see the paper on the floor. I'm gonna take it up. It was it was a, um like a brochure. Yeah. I'm sitting there looking at it, and I'm just sitting staring at it, like, hmm, what is this? And for a minute, I thought, okay, maybe I could do something like this. Because so remember, you can't dance from before. Can you <laughs> tell me? So when the sound box string up, you know. <laughs> I probably like when the sound box string up in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, you just look at it. Um, I, t I was so desperate. And I looked at it. And for me, I wouldn't thought I would even think something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But at the time I'm looking at it, I'm saying, God, you think I could do this? I know God is not into it. But yeah, I yeah, was telling yeah. him, I said, um, you know, Maybe I could do this. Maybe this is a way out for escape. Sure. I didn't understand what I was saying, but I was saying it to God. Mm -hmm. I said, what if I get this? Maybe this is an escape route. And so I went to um, the lady in the front. She have a house phone. And I said, I can call a place. And she said, yeah, sure. It was nighttime because I saw on the post at the time. And so I said, okay. And I called them and I said, um, you have to come by because we have to see what you look like. So I said, okay. Um, I find it. I went down there. Um, I think I walked. Yeah, I walked from where I am to 
Oh gosh, I don't remember where it is, but it's in Alpha Tree. Yeah. And I went to. I know why you call me because I want to ask you your age them time then. Like, yeah, don't you? I yeah, was don't. 18 at the time. Oh, you was 18? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I went to um, the club. Yeah. It's called Caesars. And I think it was a newly club. I don't know, but I think it was a newly club. And when I went in, I went to the security and they said, come in. I was like, whoa. Everything was different. And I'm looking at everybody. I'm like, hmm, this is different. They took me to the office. <laughs> and, um, he said, hello, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, what are you here for? I said, um, I don't know. I find this. <laughs> and you walk with the paper. Know, yeah, you walk with the paper. Yeah, the paper. And yeah. I said, I don't know if you, you know, if I mm. can do something like this. He said, how old are you? I said, I just turned 18. He's like, uh, he's like, why you look so? I'm I like, because I said, can just imagine how <laughs> little bit you did be. No, because I've, oh, you know, mostly around here was mostly skinny girls. Oh, Because okay. some clubs do just skinny girls. But I was looking terrible with my, you know, eyes sunk in. Yeah, you look sick. Yeah, because you never did that eat. And, and he's so like, fun. what's going on with you? I'm like, I don't know. You know, I was shy. He said, mm, no. I mm, said, no, she don't look right. You know, she something going on. You know, she mm -hmm. just look. He said, I can't. And you're so young. Anyway, I left and I'm like, okay. So I don't remember. It was a girl I knew. I was telling her. I saw her. Mm -hmm. where we grew up in church. I was saying, I went to this club. She's like, oh, no, you can't do that. I said, well, I'm looking to escape. You don't understand. Anything just to get from there. And she said, oh, you, you ever heard of a place named Pali Royal? I'm mm. like, mm-mm. She said, oh, that is the best place. I'm like, okay. So she told me where it is. Tried to find it. And she told me we're in Crossroad. I went past it like 50 times to the night. Didn't know. So I went back like two days later. Um, I went back there and I went into Palo Royal. And by this time, I was really like stressed out. And I was like, God, I sat, I said, God, you know, I know you don't agree with this. Make it work. But it has to be somewhere to escape. I said, you know, I don't have anybody. I know you say when your mother and father forsaken you, then you would take me up. You taught me that. You taught me how to love. Because in the midst of everything that I was going through, I tell you, it was God and I. The Holy Spirit would teach me how to love and Same forgive. Way, so I yeah. never really have any animosity towards anyone because at Because remember, time. you still a grew a child too as well. So you yeah. have to have love. I wasn't angry. I wasn't bitter. It was just wow. like my thing was... What can I do to escape, escape yeah. the, the abuse that I'm going through, the physical abuse? So I went to Pali Royal and fast forward, I went. They took me in the office, the manager, and she said, come with me. And she took me in and he looked at me. He's like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Everybody, I look at you now. Everywhere you go, people, I want to yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because I really, you know, you look sick. You're really suffering at yeah. the time. So... She said, um, I saw her outside and she said she really need help. And he said, how old are you? I said, I just turned 18. He's like, hmm, what's going on? Why you look so? You don't even look like, you know, he said you look more like a Christian girl. You don't mm -hmm. look like somebody need to be here. I said, you don't understand. I need to be here. Just give me a job, anything. I can't go back where I am. And he said, oh, God, you look, you're too young. You look so young. I can't really do this, whatever. And she said, you have to give her a chance. And I break down, start crying. And I share with him that I'm going through an abusive situation. Yeah. And he said, where's your family? I said, well, I've gotten pregnant. And he said, okay, say no more. He understands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so he said, tell you what, we're going to fix you up and feed you. And he said, just don't tell anybody how too young you are. Mm -hmm. So he took me to the girls and they pretty me up, whatever. At first, you're supposed to feel family. Like, I they, feel good. Yeah, because like, yeah, them, yeah. Them are take, them take care of each other and as, as yeah. bad as things may be. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. This is just to show you in life, 
You know, people would have looked down upon that group of people there. Right? Yeah. And things say them not have nothing about them. But they are the ones that actually welcome you and make you feel yeah. like family. Yeah, that's because they understand. Yeah, 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 yeah that's they them understand. save you because most of them probably have come from where They're you're coming going from through. as it's, well. It's not people think that you're there um, by will, but most of them is by force. It's by what they're going through, the escape, um, abuse from even father, stepdad, same, molestation, same, same rape. So that's way. how they end up there. And so they took me, they fixed me up, whatever. And that was it. And that was the history where I end up um, working there. And to me, that was an escape route. I believe, you know, God allow it for a reason. Yes, we have free will, but God would allow some things yeah. for a reason because, a reason. you know, he see ahead and he knows everything. We yeah. don't know our beginning My from sister, our end, God but can God use a knows. thief to come get you out of where yes. you are got to. God yes. can use a killer to come get you out of where you are got to. Because he knows the heart because of every he... man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come yeah. on. He know before we're born. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's so the, yeah. man look on the outer part, but God searches the heart. Mm -hmm. So he knows the heart of man. And so that's where I started working. I work in birth there. And I love it. Not saying per se I love like... um being on the stairs, mm -hmm. but I love the environment because it helped me and it helped me to mold me. And not only that, you know, him hire us and just like throw away on the stage. He's guiding us. He's telling us that, listen, you don't stay here for long. Mm -hmm. I know some of you are here for a reason, but you just get your thing, get out and move, and forward. move forward. So that was the most beautiful thing. And yet still I felt love Loved, because yeah. everyone was so loving. They understand and you feel welcoming. And at the time, I didn't have anybody. So they were like family. And you could have opened up with them and talked to them about any little thing. Yeah, like. not right away because what I share was the abuse. Now that person found out. I don't know. But I mean, it's Jamaica. So you end up leave. Um, end when, up yeah, when I, when I went to Pali Royal, I was telling the owner that I'm scared of this person. And he said... Oh, I provide a place for you. And I'm like, wow, wow thank you, Lord. He's like, yeah, I provide place for girls when they first come. Yeah. And then you can venture and mm. find your own place. So I was happy. So what do you do with the baby, though? Well, my mom did I eventually came, she, take the yeah, baby. She came and she she saw. She said she realized I was like out of it. See, see, so I, I, I alone. Yo, give me an eye. So <laughs> your things start turn now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went, you know, and. It was a breakthrough for me. I s immediately, I said, okay, I, qu I can come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, and I went there and that's where I stayed because he, as I said, he provided a place so you for pack us. Your bag, you pack your bag that day. The, the I next didn't pack day. anything. You, you just leave I empty just and left. Dead. I didn't have any clothes to pack. <laughs> oh, so you just but, leave. <laughs> yeah. You just pack up and say, listen to me, that the address here now, see me back again. It, it was. And then the person, um, one day I was like, I didn't understand um, this was within a week. Mm -hmm. He was looking for me. I'm um, searching, searching, trying to find me. And the, I guess the lady at the front told mm -hmm. him that um, I also came to her for a number two at Pali Royal as well. Oh. And so, because I told her that, um, she said, what are you doing there? I said, like, I'm going to try and get a bartender job. Oh. So I didn't tell her exactly. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, how we mm -hmm. came there. And so I went outside because I didn't know you just don't go out certain way at a time. Certain so, time at the day too? No, it was night. Oh, oh. I mean, day, it's not like it's locked up. Oh. It's nightclub. So I went outside, went across the street um, to get something, buy something. And then I was standing there. I had like um, my clothes on. And I didn't have, I didn't fully clothe, but I have, um, like a shas down here. Yeah, and yeah. That's no, I had on a shas and just a um a dancing top. Yeah, man, I know all the girls them come out of that club, the man. Right after they and come down Ruven Road, right? They say, come down Road and then come straight down in a Pali Raya, like, yeah, and the jerk man them they cross the road. Yeah, and, yeah man, right there. But we man. had security. Now the security were there. Um, they do protect the girls, but I was standing at the gate, you know, mm. and um, 
normally they don't go go stand at the gate, but I was stand at the gate because I just gotten something by yeah. some cross street. So I was surprised. I saw the person walk up, my son father, and him grabbed by the neck and him said, "Just walk," and it's like your whole world crumble. Crumble. And I'm like looking at everybody like help, help. But everybody's so busy. People driving, coming mm -hmm. in. The security are way up on the, where the door is. So they, they don't even say anything. They're busy, you know, and whatever, whatever. And he said, if you say anything, you know what's going to happen. And I'm like, okay, God, what is going on? So anyway, I had to walk, you know, up Ripon Road. Yeah. And I walk go straight up like you're going to Oak Road, Oak like Road, New yeah, Kingston yeah. area. And when I reached on Ripon Road, like it was so dark. And, you know, it probably was like about 11 o'clock, mm. 11 30. And then that was it. Um, the abuse started like badly. And I started like crying out for God. And he's like, yeah, cry for your God, you know. Like him start abusing you on the road while he walked. Once he reached on Oak Road. Because, yeah. you know, Oak Road at that time kind of Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a long road. Yeah. So him start like beat me real bad. And the punch I'm giving on my ears is like you couldn't hear anything out of mm. your ears. It just ring and you can't hear nothing. So, so it's like about a week him never see you for, right? Yeah. So I'm like asking God, please help me. Please deliver me. You have to help me. So when him finish, him start walk, like walk before me. And he must, every now and then him look behind and say, all right, my girl, all right, walk up. So I said, God, please let him keep walking. Let him even go further. Mm -hmm. And every time he walk up fast, I kind of walk slow because mm -hmm. I look around like, where, what for the, how for yeah, escape? Yeah, we are And yeah, I look for people, but not people now walk on the road so late. But anyway, as I look, there was this business on the right, like I see light I come from mm -hmm. them. i like, okay. So I keep walking up every now and then him slow down and you know, I said, God, just make him go on, please. Just make him walk up and don't look behind. So as he walked further, probably like three meters, I saw this um, place, like this gate, big old gate kind of slightly open. I saw some light in it, which was there was a bar as well next mm -hmm. to it. And I kind of said, God, please don't let him look. And him walk up and him a walk a course and him a say, what am I going to do to me? So by the time I just took off and run cross and run through that big gate and it was a mechanic shop in oh. like the yard part. Yeah, yeah. And me jump on the man, you know, and him fright him. I say, why, you know, why go on? What's going on? I'm going to say, please help me, help me, help me. And him I say, what? I'm going to say, somebody... I hurt my please. So him kind of like just throw me in the corner and throw a big blanket for me. I said, stay there. So then my ear, like my son father asks um, the people that I'm in at the bar, if you see a girl run, come on. And I say, but the bartender already see me. Mm -hmm. um, in other part, she see because she turned around and see me. So he my ask and she said, no, we're not seeing nobody and the junkie man. And I said, no. So when everything gone and the man came and got me and put me in the car and him say, okay, just lay down there. Him say, where are you? Me take you anywhere you for go. And I said, take me to Ripon Road, Pali Royal. And him said, Pali Royal? Where do they say? I said, please, just take me there. So while we're in the car, you know, my explain say, yeah. you know, so that's how him bring me back there back to in, Pali yeah. Royal. And then I was provide security. After that, Security, I mean, at now, the club, yeah. Yeah, because when you tell the boss, you now make sure you say you're good. Yeah. Nobody can come take you but away But the security again. wasn't when you go out. I was know, scared yeah, to, like, yeah. go anywhere on the road. <laughs> yeah. Now, to get round in life, mm -hmm. I was still afraid. Afraid for go anywhere so like the last time road. that you see him again? Well, he would still, like, come in, and in the daytime and try to, like, find me. Because there's a place on the compound where... Mm -hmm. he, the lead, the females Where you provide it for, yeah. yeah. But it's gated and it's secure. Yeah, but you would see him do it with your two eyes. Yeah, I can't though. see him through the big gate and him come at nice. But anyway, they came out, drape him up and tell him they'll come back here. Oh, okay. Now, in order to get rid of him, it was scary. 
because him still I go see me a road. Still I go, yeah. you know, yeah, go cross road where if I yeah, go, so I'm scared. But one of my friends said to me, she said, you know, Tiffany, like how you're so scared. Why don't you get like a, a real bad man? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. I was like, no, like seriously, no, I'm scared I even got man much as to go get one. Yeah. She said, no, like pay them like for protect you or whatever, whatever. She said, I think it would help you because you're so cowardly. And when a man see like you get a real Top man bad man, you yeah. Have a back up. She, yeah, that's yeah. what she said. And she said, you have to understand because she she grew in a, a mountain view. Yeah. So she can understand. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Once of them, once of them yeah. type of, yeah, you know where I go and get and a she, bad yeah. man, a man left you alone. And if him ramp, you get a bad one. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> the bad man run this way now. <laughs> So, um, my start search, you know, I said, oh, forget one, like, what for good? <laughs> she she said, start search, no. <laughs> yes. So, she said, um, like, you can't go to Tiffany. I said, Tiffany, Jesus, I'm afraid. Like, Yo. uh-uh. She said, yeah, you can't go to Tiffany or you can't go wherever. And so, I go to you, you never say, nah, come on, Britain. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Don't have a sister. <laughs> so I was like, well, you don't just go s- search that weird, just going out, get on the ox, which bad man. So she was like, no, I can't carry you go mountain view. I'm going to say mountain view. I'm going to say my ear about a place about me. It's scary. Mm-hmm. So she came and go mountain view and it was scary. So, you know, the guys were different, arcing it down. So I'm like, no, I'm not going back there, afraid. Mm. So there was this person that I knew by walking through jungle yeah. for go church. Yeah. And him always liked me, but, you know, you can't deal with them type of boy there. Mm-hmm. And him did still young, teen, but bigger teen. And I wasn't looking that way. Yeah. So... One day I heard a guy came in, um, him come from England and him there, I talked to the girl, whatever, the girls. And him say, I see this guy and him, him this guy I know, I can't believe him just come back from prison. <laughs> and then he mentioned the name and I say, oh, I asked him about the person and him say, yeah, um, he's a good person, whatever, whatever. And I say, when there, when him leave. You're fine, you're fine, you're, you're yeah. fine, you're bad man, no. <laughs> <laughs> when there, when I, leave. <laughs> yeah, I remember I'm always like, yeah. but so me now go jungle, mm-hmm. go look for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will go jungle, me see, um, it was three of them always par. They were, it was a bad man, it mm-hmm. was more like, um, you know, sweet boy, mm-hmm. you know, gallus or whatever, so... He wasn't into badness at the time. It was just him go jail car, him and him yeah. be no matter. But whatever, him came from prison. Now me, me go look for him. I'm say maybe him can help me. So went down there. The guy um came away him live. He never live a jungle. I didn't know. Him came me go somewhere else where him live. A next part over there. And so that's how I went sit and talk with him, and explain everything. And he said, well, you know, you have protection. And he was the first person to open me to and mm-hmm. really tell what yeah, he Yeah, because you need him because for, I'm to solve that problem, you're right, now we know. Yeah, and I yeah. felt safe, like, mm-hmm. okay, you know, when my Christian family, I got to do verses, the him, bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was the first person to ever sit with and tell him from the beginning yeah. what happened to me. And he said, really? He said, you church girl? He said, no, man. We well, forgot to deal with boy. So I uh, suck so him now, you know. Um, him see him, he made a drive everywhere me I go. Mm-hmm. And one day, we see uh, my son father right in a parlor, I just stand up and look. I'll lay away with me, I guess, for yeah. see me, like him normally do. And it was daytime, so you know. And him came up and I said, see him, they were scared. Can we turn around back the, the taxi? And yeah. him said, no, man. No, some man deal with things. So him go out there. And you know, him pull him gun for him and say, him warn him. And he says, she, anyway, you see her, don't ever come back near her. He dead. So him give him a tarot like really, really strong. And him walk away. So when him see me, because him tell him, when you see her upon the right, walk upon the left. 
So I see my crossroad before and I'm just like, look, pardon me and walk away. Like, I know who the person is. Every, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, well-known yeah, yeah. person. No, no, yeah, yeah. So, so no, my sister, no, no, my sister feel like she can walk by road yeah, now. Yeah. Hey, can go shop me now. Can, can go downtown. <laughs> <laughs> and him teach me a lot, a lot the road yeah. code, even though I did still could understand it, but mm-hmm. him him helped me. Was it like may I use somebody, a gunman like a killer for like yeah, really yeah, yeah. it was needed at the time. Just okay. listen yeah. to me now, my sister, it was man. Needed. You know care oh you want pretty it up. Yeah. You did need somebody who were badder than him. Well him not bad him. come to find out. To, no, to so. you at that moment that you think him is the baddest man in the world. <laughs> yeah. But now you find somebody where you're sure knew about that like him. And so, well, him wasn't the my son father wasn't even a killer. He was just an idiot pretending pretender. because him can't fool mm-hmm. me. But I didn't know. You know, how would you know? So that was your breakthrough, you now, my sister. Yeah, you don't. Let me ask a question, now, Tiffany. So now you dancing at the club. How did your family and peers um, feel about it? Them they look down by you. Yeah, of course. Says so I need to look down that again, you know. Yeah, now this is the big, big thing. Oh, this mm. worse no. than the pregnancy. Yeah, no, it yeah. Talk about it, no be able. And you know home. that even without Cristiano, most time in Jamaica, when you when people hear you're a stripper, it's the worst thing ever. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. God say all sin, it's the same sin. Whether a murderer, a liar, a dancer, a liar. Say, but telling a and lie so is when you anything. when you break one of these commandments, when you sin against God, you break all. Mm-hmm. So you know whether you're a liar and a killer, God compare it that you're a murderer. Yeah. As well. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but people kind of like you know in Jamaica culture decipher, oh, me can fornicate, but you a stripper, so you worse. Okay, this fornicator, all right. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, it was the same. Um. But you remain humble because God already taught me in the midst and some of my friends said, so boy, are you really like, really still calm when them see me? Mm-hmm. And it's like, yes, it's it's just calming because I say it's the love of God. And I want to make the love of God should have brought my heart. Uh, like remain humble and steadfast in him because I still had that relationship, even though I'm at Palaria, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. my constant me will have like, Bible study with the girls, them at night time before still we go on. You still make them know God. Anyway, yeah. you're going to have to be there with you. So you, you come, we come together, we will gather together and we talk about God and even like, you know, you sit on, but I mean, it wasn't easy because your mindset, mm-hmm. most time back then, I would have to smoke to like, that's when we start burn weed and smoke. Yeah, man, for clear the brain. clear your brain and so it was still godliness. More always spend time with God at night time mm-hmm. and still build that relationship. I'm say, God, you know, eventually I forget me out here because I really don't want to stay here. All right. So eventually. Yeah. So I'm going to fast forward yeah. now because so we are fast said, forward um, now. So um, smoking was the only thing you did in the club that was against your morals and your upbringing. That your, your, um, well, you the very talk- fact that the environment, environment where me in is strictly against but you know s- smoking at a time it wasn't a big thing it was more so forget from the dancing mm-hmm. that's the least thing because more than like a dieted smoker, smoker. Yeah. but just take a cup of puff it's nothing but <laughs> it's like what a main thing is like how forget out at you you see you're coming here yeah yeah and it now it's oh no because me know it's against the will of god it's not god will for me to be here, yeah. like for sit down and get comfortable. Get comfortable. You're not building yeah. you know, build no house and no one room right here. No. So you make sure so you say, yeah, it was a getaway. Yeah. I have to use it to your best of your ability. Never in sin, in mm-hmm. sin when it comes to sinful thing because of all oh, my growth. I still never want, that's why I never live with one, well, live with a man as well because yeah. I know it's fornicating. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So um, getting out of that, um, it was amazing. How long did it stay in at the club for? Probably five years. Five years. Five years? Wait. Well, five years. Five years. Four, 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 four years. Probably 25, four. 26. No. Um, let's see. In 2021, 20, 2022. 20. No, come out. It has to be earlier. You don't probably go in from here 17. Yeah. 
probably from my 70. Okay. But so. it's fine. It's the yeah, past. Yeah, man, it's it's my yeah, testimony. Man, I hear testimony. That's you good. know, it's my child. Mm. Say, go. At 17, it's fine. Um, so it was like four or five years. Because when I met Dan, I was 22. Oh, so da Dan is the big man. Yeah. Dan is a general. Yeah. But Dan never man. get me out there. Oh, so give it, it was give God. It, so give it so, all you get out there. No? Give God it, give get it the glory. And that, that is what I love. Because when I was in there, I said, God, you have to get me out. Not, not people. Mm. You. Because at the end of the day, I want you to get the glory. Because on the journey was God and I. I never saw one person. So I don't want anybody to just come in and out of nowhere. I can't say, oh, it's that person person or this person that minister to me and get me out no because you know i would visit church once in a while because i know i'm not accepted at the time yeah. it's a big church but my, the group of friends when we have in that pentecostal church they're not receiving me they already hear what may i do mm -hmm. so they're not going to like oh tiffany whatever whenever they see me they're like um this particular one is like hmm you're not coming back to God. Hmm, you say, I dance, go, go, whatever, whatever. And so, you know, me just smile. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. But here comes now one day um, when I reached 21, 21 and a half. I was sitting there. I said, God, I think it's a time now. You know, I'm 21. I really don't want to be here. Like, seriously, come get me out. Mm. You know, how can this be? I was feeling down and like really want to just leave because this is not something you want to stay in for the yeah. rest of your life, even though I'm still young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to church that day. Um, it was in the daytime. And I lay before God. The church was open around noon. I'm a lay before God, begin to like weep and cry and just bawl and beg him for you, deliver me. Deliver oh, can me get oh, out? Yeah. I mean, I so said, if me get out, then what may I go do? Mm -hmm. Like, you just can't leave it. What may I go do? Like, how may I go live? Yeah, you know, I'm a career. You know, where to turn because from and, me, I'm a kid, you're this one. Yeah, place, I must say, know? God, even if I come out, you know, my family. So, like, what is going on? You know, I'm a, mm -hmm. it just, me have to go back around the you're family. Still it's just too it much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was there and, you know, I lay at the altar just bawling and, there, you know, there's going to be like some ladies there praying in the prayer room, yeah. which I didn't even look. But I felt, I'm mean, here a couple of sisters I talk and them, two of them come over and put them on my shoulder. The two of them, one on the left, one on the right. And they're like, yes, sister, let it out, let it out. You let it out and <laughs> I stop and say, God, please let them take the man off me because it, it kind of distracts me. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I that's why I say you yes, have to be yeah. led by the Spirit of God. By I understand spirit. when sometimes you feel like it's your duty to come and just lay on, mm -hmm. which God talk about, let no man lay on. So, so no, lay no, on. I know what you're talking but, about, my sister. I, I've got experience of that. It just kind of, I mean, it's good what they're doing, but you, you, they wasn't being led by the Spirit of God. It wasn't for them. It mm. wasn't God and I, because he was doing something at the time. Yes. And they came and interrupted. it. So they were just yelling, let it out. And I'm like, God, what am I letting out? So, but then they and them finally start talking to me and say, okay, can I just get some time with God, please? You know, I will talk to you know. But I'm still like tarry there. So mm. it kind of like drift me away and then I get off my knee. They're like, okay, what is going on? Why are you there here? And you know, where y'all come from? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they say, what is that? <laughs> that pay your face? And why your tongue bore? Why this, that? And I'm like, huh? I'm like, come sister, take it out in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to sit there. I'm like, take it out. So because of the person, I'm, I'm very obedient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a respect, you know, mm -hmm. those that are above me. So I start to go to the ring. I said, come to go to the nose ring, man. I'm going to take it out. Come to go to the tongue ring. But I didn't reach a tongue ring. I say, you know what? I have to go. Call my taxi. I'm going to leave. I'm going to say, okay, that's not working. So anyway, back to what really happened now. Get me out there. Yeah. I was sitting one night. This and is a good part. <laughs> a group of us. Now I've been praying. And before I get to that quickly, I pray to God, as I tell you, I'm going to say to God um, the night before, I said, God, I think it's time now. 
And you have to get me out of here like right, right now. I've been in here long and, you know, I'm going to want to keep going further and further. I'm a son of four and eventually I reach five. I'm going to want him to see me like this, you know. So I said, God, please deliver me. I'm going to say, at that, when you're delivering me, give me a husband. Why? And I, I didn't Why? think of marriage before. What? Why? <laughs> yeah. So I said, God, give me a husband. I said, God, you know, I feel like I would like to be married young. Yeah. And I said, but this is the thing. I don't want somebody my age because there's nobody for me in the church. The type of person I want mm -hmm. is a church man. Yeah. Because the person that I was talking to, mm -hmm. the bad guy, mm -hmm. um, he used to say, make your married and second. I said, nope. Not no, you. no. You're not choose this. I said, I'm a light kind of stush man like myself. We're kind of like quiet and reserved. And he said, no, man, you want me, man, like Toggy. Some said, no. Anyway, I said, God, I need a husband right now. And I'm looking at, because now I have two children, because mm -hmm. I have one fear. Yeah, so you have to look for a figure too, you know. And she's like, um, not even a year good. And I said, God, I'm looking at these two children. And I kind of need like, okay, you to help me to bring a man that would grow these children. I know them have them father, but it's not the same. They're more in a different kind of mindset. Yes, this the person that I have the second child with is really good. Really love him, daughter. Yeah. But the principle of godly man is different. Mm -hmm. So I said, God, send me a godly man, not just a Christian man. Yeah. But he have to be so deeply rooted in you. That him can lead us as a family and love these two children. Yeah, yeah. I said, God, I don't want a husband from the church because none of that for me. At a time, you know, in in for me personally, in my culture, Jamaica, our culture, when you're going to church and when you're 21 year old and have two children, and most time these young people are getting married together, so their their family no one. Nobody married to you because mm -hmm. they might look at you as bad. No, she's not. Yeah, once a you have two kids already, they don't want them son married to you. They want them son yeah. married to Mary. So that's, you see, that's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, Mary. And they already have me that, mm -hmm. as that. So I said, God, you know, there's a lot of condemnation. There's no husband me I could get. So I must say, the type of person I want, he must be stush, he must be calm. Just my personality. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a preference. And I said, God, and then the one thing, let him be 50 or older. So did you get everything that you asked for? <laughs> yes. Everything? So yes. this is sh to show you. Everything. When you go before everything. God. God is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when yeah. you're going before God, talk, ask God in detail. Exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. Inches, nose, yeah. eyes, yeah. everything. Just ask her what you want. And I mean, you it's will our father it. himself come boldly before me, before the throne of grace. We have mm. that free will for come boldly before God. And it's God will to give us himself the desire for our heart. So the desire my uh, before a year ago, I never desire older man. Okay. I was like, one of my friends say, you know, she had talked to an older man. I'm like, you, like, that's nasty. And she's yeah. like, no, what's nasty about it? I'm going to say, gross. But I think it wasn't something planned always to think of an older man. I think God prepared me for because that. him know Dan, he was about to bring somebody from a totally different country mm -hmm. to me. Now, at the time, um, I said, wow, why am I feel for an older man? That's weird. But then I begin to look on life and I say, okay, an older man, he already spent most of his life. So I say, I need somebody can teach me. And guide me with godly more principle. Responsible. Not like if it's somebody my age and they're learning to an off, but it, it wasn't something I needed at the time. Mm -hmm. I said, God, I prefer an older man because here's a 50 year old man. Him, him kind of have it a bit more together. And him, I more grab me at the time to me. That's what I'm talking to God. He yeah. kind of grab me. And I, oh, you know, I'm mean, not cut you, but just say, oh, you grew up. Like it's it make you it make you want somebody where 
you can't like you can't look up like for say you can't teach us so because you're not yes. actually not know nothing. You yes. understand me? I say you don't know about relationship, you don't no. know about being a woman, you don't know about being yeah. a wife. You understand me? Yeah, so, and more protective. You, yeah, you need yeah. yeah so I felt at the time yeah. a younger man, not saying not all, but my age, I think an older man for me to help me at the time. I must say God two children. I don't think a 21 year old ready for to kind of girl with two children and marry her. They're not even thinking about marriage at the time. No, 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 I'm no. I'm going to say I already have two children. I prefer to be married because I never like dating. I never like, I never live with a man, never like it, never fancy it. I'm going to say, God, give me a husband. I'm going to say, if he is 49, I don't want him. If he is under 50, don't want him. Don't bring him. And so I'm going to spend time praying and talk to God. He already know this is my heart. Yeah. You understand? So you was what age at that time? 21. 21. And a half. So here comes Dan. I'm a met Dan. Nobody just turned 21. Met Dan. And my daughter wasn't even one year old. And just met the stranger sitting down then. I never see him back again. It wasn't nothing. And so here comes down in the same year. Um, I sat there and I saw this man again, which was Dan. And he said, I kind of remember you from the club. And then that's when we start talk like friends, no relationship because yeah, 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 we yeah, don't yeah. keep relationship. Mm -hmm. So me and him talk and, you know, it was just mutual. So like here comes, this was August and then November out of nowhere, he said, okay, I'm going back home the next day. That is the Friday. In so he's actually an American. So he says he's going back home because he was in Jamaica. He loved to visit Jamaica. Oh, he heard I'm about Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. He right heard right. about Jamaica, same always. Come there, him say. So he um, um, came there on my day at work. And this person went to look for him. So went back to work and whatever, whatever. So we get a text and he asked if we can marry him. Wait, while him in America and you in Jamaica. No, in our Jamaica and they come visit that time. And you get that text message while he was in Jamaica? Yeah, I think after we start getting to know each other, mm -hmm. but we never still really know each other because it wasn't boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, it was yeah. just a club man. We call him yeah, a man, business yeah, man, man. Yeah, man. So that was the August and then um, the November. He marks me, text me to marry him. And so I went by back to him hotel and I said, you want to marry me? And him said, yeah. And so, anyway, he was so nervous. He put my bottle of champagne. He said, I always have the champagne no, but like did say? When him, when him say, when, when he did say? Wait. Yeah. He had the champagne, a bottle of champagne for <laughs> years, mm -hmm. he said, before me leave. And he said, he go what me? I said, what are you celebrating? He said, something special. Yeah. So he said, you want some? I said, no, I don't drink. I don't like alcohol. So he said, okay. So when by the time I reach our club, mm. him send me a text, say, will you marry me? Mm. I say, this crazy man, he probably I drink off the bottle of wine. <laughs> so <laughs> I go back to him hotel and I say, you drunk? And he kind of slur and him say, no. And so I say, yeah, you're drunk. He say, no, I'm going back home. But so I say, what is the special? He say, that, will you marry me? Him say he was so nervous for ask mm -hmm. me before my face that him realized when I left him have to do something quick or whatever. Anyway, so that's how him asked me to marry him. Um, weird, but anyway, I say okay, it was weird. I couldn't understand at the time. I think weird, married him. That was weird. So it's that not means the you first still never time. did I understand where you did a prayer for then. No, I understand it, but it was so quick. So quick. It yeah. was quick. So, so, you know, so God not answer prayer quick again. <laughs> <laughs> In a week, God just said, we'll have something for you. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that was quick, God. Yeah. And so, I sat with them and said, how old are you? And him said, I'm a 50-year-old. And October, I might be 51. I'm going to say, okay, God, this is it. You know, must be tell, it. You know, me know butterflies. Yeah. Me know, me know, y'all catch butterflies and all. Them. Not, not really, not a lot, like, but kind of like, 
I, I get to like him because mm. you know him kind of just calm and principled. But you ask and it's everything what my we answer say. So you kind of like picking up a pieces. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, everything my ask. Me even go as far as ask God, I say, God, me need a person who cook a lot. Me need a person who get a personal chef. You see, a professional chef. Professional, me for says. I'm a say, me need somebody who wash, cook, and clean. Professional. But my mother do everything yeah. for me, like wash, cook, and clean. So that was everything. And so fast forward, God is so good that Dan left the Friday. Yeah. When he proposed to me. Yeah. The um, Thursday night. Yeah. And I was like, but I wasn't like paying much attention yeah, to that. My thing is, was yeah, they get yeah. a ring that they, that, that, that no, that was it. It was in Jamaica visiting and just asked me for marriage. Oh, I decided to ask. No, I oh, oh. no, no, think you did have something you could have wear on the finger and cock it off so tomorrow. No, it wasn't somebody we I didn't know Dan like that. Oh. It was just a, 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 um, a man that come out of the club and, and just nah, asked go me for marrying him out of nowhere. Yeah. It wasn't like a boyfriend where you get for no one. A yeah. person just, it wasn't like that. Okay, okay. So, um, it was a total strange accident to marry him. Yeah. And so, I said, okay. Think about it <laughs> more. So, he went to him the next day. He said, I just want to ask him before him leave. I said, but we don't know each other. He said, yeah. But anyway, um, the night, the Friday night, um, my day, at a club and there was this two gay guy come at a club and they were together and then I have another friend with me so we were sitting there and they rent out a hotel room and sorry but they, they couldn't rent a hotel room because they don't allow that mm -hmm. but they the gay guy asked me and he said, can you help me out? I'm going to go to um, the security. I'm going to say, um, it's me you want it, which I lied. But anyway, <laughs> they, they, and it, them eyed and come through the gate mm. one by one. So I'm going to check on them in the hotel room. I'm going to say, okay. And them say, yeah. And them say, can you sit with me a little bit just for talk? I'm going to say, all right. I said, just don't come out. So the security eyes all over the place. And I'm so okay, I'm going to say, you know, people will kill you or whatever, whatever. So I'm sitting in there and another friend of mine, I'm going to bring her there. I was sat there. I'm sitting on the dresser. And the two of them across from me on the bed just sit down like normal. And she to the side of them. So me alone face them mm -hmm. on the dresser. And so we are talk. Them attack her kind of sadness, whatever, with them. I mean, I say, ew, like, what art, you know, even though me that sit me, I kind of, mm. like, ew with them. I mean, I say, talk about something else, man. But no want to hear about that, you know. So she did it. She kind of want to hear more about them, whatever, whatever. So this is where God stepped in because I was still praying to God for deliver me. And as I sat there, my ear voice has playing, said, Tiffany, I'm a look, but them I talk. Like everybody, them mm -hmm. I talk, I look, you know, I talk and I laugh and whatever. So my ear device called me again and said, Tiffany, I'm a look. But the thing is, my notifice. My notifies because I talk to him every yeah, night. Every already, night yeah. I talk to him. And that's where my ear device I got having that relationship with him, like as plain as we're talking. So I think, I'm going to say, wait a I minute, mean, that sounds like God. So I start to look back upon them and my ear device say, Tiffany. And the moment the device said that the third time, I say, God, is that you? And immediately when I say, God, is that you? Every voice blocked out. Like immediately. They were laughing like me. I look at them and they might laugh and I talk, but mm -hmm. I couldn't hear them. The only person my ear begin to speak to me now is God. Yeah. And God have a way to block out every voice when he want to get to you. And so every voice was blocked out. Now you're looking at them, they're still a laugh and a talk, but I mm. can't hear them. The moment I answer him and say, God, is that you? And he said, Tiffany, 
I love you. I'm going to say, God, I love you too. I'm going to say, you come for help. I'm going to say, I need you. And he said, Tiffany, come to me. Come to me, I love you. I'm going to say, God, but how okay, can I come to you? Like, Nobody love me because at the time I still feel no love. Yeah. But said nobody love me, nobody want me. Like, what may I go do? Where may I go go? And he said, Come to me, Tiffany, I'll take care of you. I said, No, like, I have to first get things together before me can leave. And he said, Tiffany, I love you, I'll take care of you, just come to me. It wasn't a lot of words. Yeah. God just mostly saying the same thing. And he said, Come to me, I love you, I'll take care of you. And many man go back and forth. May I ask him question like, but oh, but this, but why? But you know, everybody not like me, fam not like me. And me don't want to be around them because if they're around them, you just feel nobody yeah, love yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And him said, I love you. Come to me. And him said, Come to me now. And the presence of God came over me in such a way. That one would have to experience it for himself because it was the Most High God who is there at the time. I must say, God, you really come to a place like this for me? I said, God, I'm really nothing, you know. And he said, Tiffany, I love you. And he said, come to me. It will be all well. I'm going to use it for my glory. And then while we did it back and forth, finally, but the moment... I said to him, say, okay, God, I'm going to come to you. It's like everything lifts from you. All the consciousness of, you know, self-conscious that you were nothing, mm -hmm. everything lifts. And it was no. So immediately after God, once my answer, I said, okay, God, I'll come to you. Mm -hmm. Then we can hear back everybody. Like the voice, them in the It room. just come right back. We're right there. So now God left. I'm going to say to them, say, me and look at me and say, wait, what in the world? I'm going to say to them, say, did you not hear that? When you hear God talk to me and them start love them, so God talk to you. I'm going to say, yeah, didn't you hear me and God, they're right here, so I talk. They'll be like, Tiffany, remember you smoked some weed, so it's not God. I'm going to say, no. I'm going to say, me I ask them and them I laugh and them I say, really? And them say, well, God say, me say, him say, come to him. I'm say, you know what? Him say, come to him now. But the way it felt when, when the spirit of God show up and him come to you and him, him say, come to him. You don't hesitate. You don't think twice or you don't think, okay, tomorrow I'll change up a little and next week. It was immediately. I'm say, you know what? I'm loving the guys and... You know, it's a privilege for me to know. But I say, may I go right to God right now. Them say, right now. I say, yeah, tonight, may I go home to my mother and may I go change. So I left and I was so happy and overjoyed that when I go through the gate and put on my clothes and I reach for go with the security there and I see somebody with me that whip and a customer. And him say, hi, Tiffany, where are you going? Him say, I'm here. Him say, oh, I forgot about you. Him say, um, are you ready to leave? I'm like, no. I say, I'm going back to God. He said, what? I'm like, yeah. I said, God just talked to me. I was telling people like, mm -hmm. it's not, you know, yeah. I was telling him, you know, God Drive just came and yeah. took me. And him say, okay, so. We're not going to talk together. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I said, see, it was nice meeting you. Nice to know you. And I left and I never returned. Thank I returned no, I, ret I did return to witness to girls and they gave their life to God and left. But that was the only return. So I left. It was so, God. So it's not. So you see why it's good mm -hmm. to listen and tell a testimony. Because you know, when me a wait for the area said to me, this man come here, come marry you and take you out of the club, mm -hmm. you know. And that me a listening, you know. So we say, I, this, I yeah, lick him, lick you off of your foot in front of be a sin and say, come to me. Right and you here. have to pack up your bag, yeah. pack up your clothes and go home. Yeah, that's why God, 
That's you know right. the art of every man, so you can't judge one person yeah, because by evil actions, I mean you judge yeah. them righteously. If I'm here, you see something that I'm falling off as a woman of God, you can mm. say, Hey Tiffany, you know the word of God said this, that you're judging yeah, righteously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so as I'm long not as you're not he, he say, you say you there's a part him talk about in um him talk about it in Hebrews and many scripture that you correct your brother, you, you judge them righteously and godly, not um, critically. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't judge somebody critically and just be like, mm, you know, oh, some Christian yeah, judge. Yeah. But you judge them righteously. It have mm -hmm. to line up with the word of God in things that it have to right, right. line up with love. So it have to line up with all. Like, and once you yeah. have love, you have to do it righteously. Re righteously. Right. But it's understand. good to to judge righteously, but not where you can say, "Hey, what you're doing is do not yeah, godly." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and try to set your brother on the right Instead of plead the blood of Jesus for the people, and plead the blood, blood of for Jesus cover, is for not against them. people; it's against the devil. The, the blood of Jesus is for us. For He's us, shedding for blood cover, for us. For cover so I think that's where people get it wrong. Get it wrong. Like, it's never against us. So yeah. one of the thing is, um, so that's how God delivered me. I, From all the yeah, and then a couple of the girls, when we go for minister to them, they said, I was like, we're so and so. They're like, they left and they said, you know, they said if Tiffany change, I can, I change, can change too. So and they left. So that's what you, you it was a beautiful thing. This is the reason why God sent you there too. Yeah. So you can take out at least three with you. You understand? Yep. No me, you understand no me I said? Yes. So nothing don't happen for a reason. So when it comes on rip and fast forward <laughs> now, and we, 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 we're there now. So when you break the news to fiance, because no fiance, can you not answer me? No fiance, yeah. When you tell him, <laughs> say, there's no more you and that place, how did he react to it? Like, are you telling him when you say yes to him? Are you say yes to him because you know you quit? Um, over that side and you're ready for your life now well I called Dan well first I go home excited with my mother she was happy because she'd been praying for me yeah and she said you know I never said which she, she always said me like this what you're doing is not right but she do it in such a loving way to be honest with you she mm -hmm. never like yell and condemn and like don't come around me you know she always want me around her so my mother never condemned me yeah. after she took me. So it was that, yeah, you know, yeah. she come back around, but it, it, she love us. Mm. You know, you just let down your parents at time. Um, but telling Dan, it wasn't nothing big because God is first and foremost. So I call him and I say, you know what? I'm going to tell him exactly what happened. And he said, oh, that's good. And I say, yeah. And. My God, I'm a church now. I said, no more. And him said, oh, that is so good, you know, whatever. Because him, uh, him asked me before what I want in life. In life, yeah. I'm going to sit and tell him exactly what I want. And so, because I knew what I want in life. So <laughs> here comes now, we can't tell you talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. But him said to me, say, you know, um, Dan did kind of could have married me at first. Because, yeah. oh, before him left, when he asked me to marry him, the next day we went, um, before him leave, we went to <laughs> my run going on my church. I'ma go to the pastor and the office and I did and I'ma say, um, somebody wanna marry me. <laughs> and it was like, what? I was like, can you marry me now? Him saying need to go home. It was weird. And then Dan called me and said, I can't. Because, you know, him family called him back home and said, What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You can't just go in a foreign country and just take somebody, somebody out and like, know we yeah. don't even know her. Within a week. And yeah, then yeah. the most thing they said, oh, she's too young. Mm -hmm. And she's a, a, a exotic dancer. Yeah, yeah. So, no, they didn't know about much opportunity, but they were looking at exotic dancers. Say, mm -mm, you don't marry people like that, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, get, well, you know where I get yourself. So, you know. Dan kind of drift with him said, okay, cancel that. So, afterwards, you know, so yeah, I never thought to done right away. It was like maybe two weeks later. Two weeks later. Yeah, yeah this so. man called me and him said, Oh, how are you? And him said, you know, I'm really sorry. Him say, I went to God and examined myself. Mm -hmm. And him I said, God, she's too young. I never asked for a wife that young. Because I never knew him was so praying to. He was to. actually praying for a wife like I divorced as well. for 10 years oh, at the oh. time. And him saying, was praying for your wife. So God, I kind of want to come out of fornication. So I like a wife. But him say, him like Jamaican. Mm -hmm. By through Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And him say me that life for married, but him never thought of that type of age. Mm. Him would have think somebody in age group. And so him said to me, say, you know, that is good. When I talk to him and tell him, say, me go back in a church. church. He said, that's good because I am a church goer. I'm say, you know, him just gets thrown off. So, and uh, just yeah, stray yeah, away, yeah, backslidden yeah, yeah. and out there yeah. from him divorce all these years. So we get to talk and him say, tell you what, can you forgive me and marry me? I say, um, mm -hmm, if you want, you know. So him got through the whole explanation about the age and everybody was saying she's a dancer. And him say, God, I'm not condemning that part because I'm in fornication, so it's still not different. I see him, I see him, I see him, I And him saying, begin to look deep, and him say, God, him start make all these complaints about me, but mm -hmm. young, age, all of this, and what is going on. And the Lord say, how much thing you have done in your life that ever worked for you? And him said that make him rethink. Mm -hmm. All him choices never work never for him. Never work for him. Yeah. And so that's how um, Things me and Dan off. gotten married like four months later. Four five months, months, five months later, later, we gotten married and quick, quick. And how long you get? Um, how long it take for you to um get your first child with Dan? <laughs> well, we we'll married the, the me and we gotten pregnant. Um. Well, it wasn't far, it was two months. It's a fertile man. And, and yeah. for sure, you know, God has blessed you in every department, you know. Yeah. Because I don't remember think you could are... have children. Eh? That was like, you know, it, it, it don't work like that, you know. <laughs> I was so want to work. He said, well, um, I don't think I can have children. I said, but you have two children. He said, yes. I'm so what's wrong? Um, Nothing working like sperm-wise, he said. No, but, you know. I think I can't have more children. Yeah. I think Dan looking at yeah. 50. I'm yeah, like, say, 51 is not all, all like... Yeah, young. You still have, you still have, but, you have 50 more years to live. See where you are, young man. But anyway, we um Dan decide fit. That's when everybody know Dan when he first came to Jamaica in May. Oh. And that was the first time like one of my aunt came to see who is this man and everybody tried to meet him. Yeah. And... um. That was the whole first. So now Dan and I got him married. My mom just seen him for the first. Because yeah. I told my mom, say, you know, I got married to somebody. She's like, huh? And I said, sorry, mommy, you can't meet him that quick because he's, he's just somebody me know. So it's yeah, not so like you, you can't sit down and well. Bef yeah. It, it, in live in America, so it wasn't somebody where she had to see if he knew. And Physically, so yeah. I never see, but I, I kind of forgotten what Dan looked like too. So, because remember, I just said, man, yeah, man, and I yeah, said, can yeah. you send me a picture so I can remember your face? Because it's weird. I'm married to you, and I don't know what you look like. So, he sent me a picture through the post, and I will look on it, and mm. say, so, okay. This is the man. And I asked my mom, I said, because I battled with it after a second. I said, mommy, what do you think about age? I said, you think I should marry this man? I'm 50, I'm just turned 51 still, the yeah. October. I me turned 22 and she said, um, she said, to be honest, I don't agree with it. But she said, who am I? She said, do you like him? I said, I really, really like, like him. She said, you pray? I said, yeah. She said, pray about it. She yeah. said, I can't tell you what to do because I might say no. And it's I, I think your mother give you. I think your mother give you a yeah. good um because she actually give you the ball in your coat too. She so said you're, you're young. Yeah. She said I wouldn't like do it because you're so young. But she said I can't tell you what to do because mm -hmm. then again you're 22 and she said. If I tell you not to do it, then what if it's something we're meant to be? Meant to be. Yo, guys, this podcast um look like it's going to be um a part one and a part two because, <laughs> boy, we are gone. You understand what I say? No, you're married. Mm -hmm. No, oh, you feel no, because you have to go leave Jamaica now for come live your life you now, right? Yeah. Oh, was it like transition now, leaving from Jamaica, um, come to a person you now where... Because actually, how, how long you talk to him in a Jamaica for before you reach here? How much years? Well, I think two years because when Dan and I got married in the May, he just came down quick mm -hmm. for the weekend and leave like the next day. And him 
him say, you know, I feel like I live in Jamaica. I say, yeah, because I don't want to go to America. Mm-hmm. And him say, you don't want to move here? I said, no, because I don't know you. You might be a serial killer. So I'm kind of laugh. I'm, mm. say, I'm scared. To be honest, I was scared. Yeah, like, because it did quick. I don't know it, it. It did quick. See him. Yes, everything so I'm, everything I'm quick. I feel, I felt like if him come at Jamaica, I can get to like mm. know, him. know him a little bit And more. that way, because I tell him like going to your country, I'm scared. I, I don't know anybody. Mm. And it's in, a, you know, Chicago. If it was like going to New York or Philadelphia, then I would. So you didn't know nothing about, so, so you did know nothing about Chicago? No, that's the thing. If I if I tell him like if we if he was like in New York or Philly, I yeah. would have because my family, family is members there. there. Oh. Yeah, and I can run to them. Oh, so what was it like? So wait, remember, ask a question because this just come to me. So you believe that um, in all of this, right? Mm-hmm. You walk by faith and not by sight because. You actually got married to a stranger. Yeah. You know nothing about, but be, you had that reassurance from God. That's it. I got it because the thing is, I was fearful. I don't trust nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't. And I really never like hang out with per- people by myself. I trust nobody at the time. And so I felt this peace with Dan. When I'm around him, it's like, it felt different. Yeah. And I'm like, I even questioned, like, why am I liking this person? I, I was, like, not bitter, but just never want to have a boyfriend. I don't like it. I despise it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'd rather be alone. Yeah. Like, I don't trust any man because of what I've been through. Been through yeah. So it kind of put me in a place where I don't want man. And so I felt a peace with Dan. I felt it was okay. Like, I've never felt before in my entire life. Mm-hmm. So that was it. And I knew it has to be God because right. everything I pray for, here it is. So it's all good to walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah, but being the, the most thing, it's not even that. It's being led by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Because you have to be led. Yeah, but you have to have faith to be led. Yeah, you, know? you, you have say, to have faith. You but have people right now where God want to use you. Know? Yeah. But just because them not have a little bit of faith as mustard seed. Yeah. God now nah use them because they nah have no faith. And to know God, you have to have faith. You trust God in the process. You yeah, understand, yeah. Yeah, but at the time, we were being led. Because I said, God, I want you to lead me. So it was into easy. Into our truth and godless, lead me. So that means it was easy when you moved, come into America, come live. Because see me and come yeah. live with me are two different things. Yeah, so Dan came down like two months later. Mm-hmm. After him came down, married me, then him go back home. And we thoroughly thought about it. I said, come here so we can get to know you mm-hmm. and we feel safer here mm-hmm. in our country. So that's how him, and he said, well, it's an opportunity because he always loved Jamaica and want to live there for a while. Mm-hmm. So he came, we lived there, he lived for two years. Wow. And, uh, Before you move, coming to America. Yeah. Yo, let me tell you yeah. something. You don't know what God do for you, man. <laughs> Me say, you don't know what God do for you. Mm-hmm. I went, God, listen, me I live pan, I saw me I live pan a line, you know. You see, line of me, I live on my blessing line. You see, any day me fall off of my blessing line, he might go kick me down. And believe you, me, you see, where I take you from, mm-hmm. he really bless you. Like, he make sure, you say, even because remember, you see, at hard times, we have to consider them as blessings. Yeah, they're you your testimony. Because it's a testimony, it's to help someone else. Yeah. You can just imagine if everybody that got your life smooth, Mm-mm. who don't know God? And it grow you into a maturity. Yeah. You, you get to understand the things of life and it it helps for mold you. More you can yeah. understand life that you missed it too. Because I'm not going to put everybody at fault. I missed it too. Definitely. So, at its, but during that, God mercifully so rich in mercy mm-hmm. and his love. So, he wants us to give the same to others. Yeah. Now, um, quickly when... Um, Eventually, Dan came two years, and then I decided, um, I think it's time okay, to, to leave to Jamaica. Leave. Okay. And that's how, you know, I came here, and it, which was fine. How many so, years you guys been married? Married now? now. May will be 18. 18? So, more mm-hmm. stop right there. So, so I always hear people, people like me too, always thinking that age gap relationship um, don't work. But listen to me. It does. Two people have to just come together and make it work. A thief can't deal with a liar and it work. We have to just come together 
You understand me? I say, and live for God, and, and it will like work. You see, when God in the middle, mm-hmm. you see, if you put God in between a thief and a liar, just believe but you, he me. He was between the thief and the liar. Yeah, he was the between cross. the thief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you end up saving them, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, see? so it's it's just biblical. You, you see understand that? me? Yeah. Yeah. No, but you just see that mm-hmm. one just Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It was just biblical, and we have to live that way, then. So, where you say no, my sister? You, um, what 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 is life like? No. No. So, all right. So, my next question, um, would be. So, do you regret, like, your past or any choices that you made now that you, you know? Yes, sir, past. Yeah. Yeah, do you regret any of the, um, the choices that you made when you're young? I mean, regret, I don't think about things like that. Oh. Because one of the things is, you know, I look on life, life is a journey. Mm-hmm. And... We're born in this world. God said we're born in this world, this sinful world. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to get a smooth road. Mm-hmm. Some of we are going to be, go through some harsh things mm-hmm. where we're not asked for, but God choose to put us in the family where we're in. Mm-hmm. No, I don't live with regrets, to be honest with you. I never thought of it because when God delivered me from it, I sit and I don't think about the past. It, it, it don't play a role yeah. in my life yeah. right now. So, majority, as we, in other words, God say, you you press forward into the things of God, not looking behind. Not behind, yeah. You understand, but yeah. pressing forward to the higher calling in Christ Jesus. Oh, my camera stay around, the Maji. All right. So I couldn't like focus on that. Yeah. You know, it's the past. It's done. It helped for more loss into the person be, and also. God allowed it for a reason, and we have to learn to look past that. So yeah. it, it, it's nothing that must sit and think so about. So like, you don't have no regret. That means you don't have nothing where you that change, where you, where, 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 like you said, would have change this and, and do it that way here. Because you don't have no regret. So there's nothing in, um, in no, your past where you No, because to say that, change. then you can't change it. Can't it's gone. It. So yeah. for sit and say, well, me that change it. No, because... It is what it is, and it because me not turn a line on my sister, me live up in a god. Yeah, and some of the time, me wish me could have we went back time. You see, I handle some of the things that we yeah. do. <laughs> we all would like. Me that, don't regret it, you know. And me don't regret it because it make me be the person yeah. who I am now. Yeah. But me wish me could have we went back the time. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So me could crunch so it down now, baby. Let me ask a question baby. now. Next thing, can we we are wrap it up. Yeah, wrap me, wrap it. Wrap, so, we are wrap right, it up now. Round table talk. So we know, um, be a span. You see, generational curse is real. Yeah. You understand? Me know earlier you said that your grandma was on your father's side. She was a young parent also. Mm-hmm. Right? So um do you share these testimonies with your children so they don't have to follow in that footstep? Or you know, you we know you're a woman of God and you already um break these curses already. Mm-hmm. But do you like open up about these things to your children? Well, yeah, I mean, when I, um, now that they're teenager girls, when I was, when I share that testimony, that's when they ask me question. Okay. But I always sit with them and, you know, yeah, you just have to grow them up in the fear of God. The that's fear the of God. That's, that's, that's the main thing, my yeah, sister. Yeah, and I, I'll share with them now and mm-hmm. say, listen, such and such and whatever, whatever. And I said, you know, people would say, okay. You have to let your children venture and do for them part. Yeah. But they don't have to do the same, same thing that way you, you do. Yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so you want them to divert from that. So for me, I like explain the whole thing. I said, no, I'm giving you the word and everything. It's up to owner. And one thing you just do have to pray for them. Pray but for you them. teach them the principle of God. And yes. hopefully, the, I teach them a lot about um, mm. pregnancy. Like, and not only pregnancy, I said, you know, I'm not going to tell you um, just don't have sex because of pregnancy. You have to think about disease. And not only that, but it is against the will of God. Yeah, you have to so think about it's yourself. Not as a, yeah, you have to think about yourself. Oh, you have to value yeah. yourself. Va- you understand? So yeah. you have to teach them the things of God. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then that's what we do every okay, day. Okay, so, um, so now that you get out of um, all of them trauma there, and me and you know that so there's somebody out there now <laughs> we're watching this while we're looking in the camera, going through all the way you got through and more. Mm-hmm. Um, it, we have to tell them, say, like, we have to the tell them, say, like, what advice you have to give them, like, right now as we're speaking? 
Well, I would say seek God in everything. Um, one of the thing is I seek God like holy, like holy, and form that relationship with him. He said, call upon me and I'll answer you and show you mighty things you do not know. So one of the things is just forming a relationship with God, seeking him in everything you do, and it would change your life. You know, forgive, walk in love, because... You know, the world will say, okay, forgive, but you don't forget. That's not God. There's nowhere in the Bible that says that. God said, forgive. And he said, I forgive you. And so as far as the east is from the west, so your sins are thrown. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you know how far the east is from the west. And he said, not only that, but he said, I remember your sins no more. So who are we to remember it? Why are you keeping it in the look back like of me, your Look head? like me and Tiffany pray. So, look like me and Tiffany pray. You see him start sitting with them. And so, I see him tell me always saying to Tiffany. Yeah. People always talk about, oh, me can't forgive, but me can't forget. You are lying. You can forgive. But you you have to. You choose to. You, you choose to. not to forget. Then Anything therefore you're not in forgiveness on, then. You're not, and anybody yeah. tell you, say them forgive you, but they will not no. forgive then don't forgive Cause you. Because you hold that in the back of your head and <laughs> you on. hold it against the person. Come on, come person. on, sense teach you that. Because God saying forgive and him remember it no more. If God don't remember your sin, when something come up and, you know, your sin is brought up to you by the devil. Because he want to condemn you. Remember when you do this? You remember how much money you take? Mm -hmm. You remember this, that, yeah. that? You know, that's the devil. Yeah, that's but imagine if God did not save up the sin them we would do in our back of him head. No, we no, couldn't we go ask here. for no forgiveness no, again. No, we be here. For we reach a third strike, yeah. we're gone. And we wouldn't be here. <laughs> we wouldn't remember be here. Jesus died first. He already know what ungodly behavior mm -hmm. and everything. But him came and him loved us so much. And the one thing, just seek God in everything you do. And when you come to God, forget about the things of the world. You know, and God said, you know, we can't mix the world with godliness. It won't work. And that is why I have such a love for God. It's like I strip myself of everything, everything worldly yeah. and take on the new man. New because man. him say, you know, when you come to him, you're a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away, ah, become, so be, you know, mm -hmm. all things become new. So that this is the new man, the new you. You know, him says, strive to be like him. Holiness, godliness. You understand? So Christianity is Christ-like. And for me, I want to be Christ-like. Christ -like. Like. He said, be imitators of your, 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 dear, your father. dear father. So that's one of the things. Seek God in everything you do. If you're going through it, keep praying. Keep seeking God. You know, God will open doors, send help your way. He will cause man to give to you. And he will open doors for you. But don't feel condemned. Why you have to give advice you now to the parents, them, where them kids like get pregnant and they might give up on and them, them child. yes and, and them just feel like all hope is lost and them have to throw them out to the world for dog eat them <laughs> we say for dog eat them it's funny but that's <laughs> funny but that's true that's what happened but yeah um i would say you know, if you don't know, you know, okay, this is it. We can be Christian, but if you know, you don't know what the word of God said, that's the thing I've learned is that God talk about the lack of love in humanity. Mm -hmm. And when you have the love of God, um, 1 Corinthians 13 talk about the love of God. And I would advise you to spend some time reading that. And where... Jesus talk about love. Love is not taking into consideration the wrong done to it. It's not puffed up. It doesn't exalt itself. So when you go through the word of God, I would tell parents, go through the word of God and get to know God because when you, you know, God give our children to us as a gift. As a gift. And none of us can bring life unless God ordain it. Because God said, I knew you before you were farming before your you mother womb. <laughs> and if before you were farming your mother womb, God knew you, that is powerful. I mean, say, it make you. <laughs> yeah, say, before you <laughs> were farming farm, your mother womb, that, 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 I that, knew that, you. It make you. So, I make you another man back. Yeah, know you I before ever, the foundation yeah. of the mm -hmm. earth. So we only come on this earth when God choose for choose us. For so us, there's yeah. no mistake in pregnancy. Yes, it can be a, a sad situation. But there's no life because God said, I am the giver of life and no man can give life 
Except, Except me. me yeah. So one other thing is love. Love your children. Love walking God's love. Yeah. And just seek God in everything. So once you're walking in love, you will love your children. God give you a gift, which is your children. And how can you truly give when things are not things working? Things are not well? working. You know yeah. how much time we have missed it and God never chose to the curve. God is open, waiting for waiting us to come and repent. Come yeah. Him say repent. Wait for us to come and repent. We can you repent. imagine? Can you imagine mankind <laughs> are wait for you for come and say, yo, bro, I'm sorry, I'm done. Yeah, it's like, repentance. Imagine if we did that, do that. Like we're quick yeah. for right off people as True. as a quick yeah. with us right off people off of the map. Yeah. If we was like God, nobody would have part earth. Even the True. tree them would have right off because some of the time the tree them not be enough fruit. If, if yeah. God down. was like we. Eh? If God was like we. Mr. Baby, if we could have blow, see if we could have do the miracles where God create, not even oh, trees could not depart earth. Mm. Me say, would I get rid of everything to all we think? Yeah, yeah that we easy, we don't have. Fi- As I would say, that is for the parents, them out there, my people. Don't give up on your child. Always keep and stick with it. Because yeah. remember, you bring that child for nine months plus deliver plus grow. Remember, Love them. remember, everybody make mistakes. Yeah. When we say everybody and everybody on this earth sin is how many times you ask for forgiveness count. So don't throw away your brother, your sister, your niece, your nephew, your uncle, your picnic them. It doesn't even matter. Your friend them. Mm-hmm. We have to do better with that. So we have over this of a second. Listen to me. This was a great, even though emotional, yeah. talk. My love, I enjoy every minute of it and we just want to say um tiffany like you are a blessing gem yeah you know everything that you went through god allowed it to happen for his greater glory Mm -hmm. yeah you know so you could even share these testimony with someone to help them you know and we just love that you didn't make it all you down Mm -hmm. You blossom into this person here that is even bigger than even you, a person. Yeah, yeah because it's you bigger know? than you, you know, as a person. Yeah. 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 You understand? You so, do God work. And when you do God work, it's bigger than you. Because you, you have to be selfless. Yes. And when you be selfless, you're not living for you no more. You're living for God. And one last thing before. So, my thing is, don't talk about my mom or anybody because one of the things is, Everybody goes through something. Sometimes you have to understand when life hits, parents, it can be hard for them. You put them in a certain situation, which is is hard. You understand? So I love my mom. I have nothing against her. She's wonderful. And I love my family, my grandmother. Everyone. And you just forgive and you move on because we all missed it. I missed it as a parent. We all missed we, it. We all Sometimes missed we it. say things that we don't mean and we have to go and repent and apologize to our children. But the thing is, you stay in love and you forgive. Forgive. You know, yeah. so my mom is a good mother. She grew my son. My sister, people not under, people not understand where our parents have got you back then, yes. you know. It's not easy, you know. We mm-hmm. might think it's easy because we go to church, we do this, we do yeah. that, but it's not. Yeah. And the decision and them where them have to make and the choices where them have to make not easy. No. Just believe you me. And sometimes you have hard parents, but you stay in love. Mm-hmm. And when you come out, when God deliver you, don't come against them. You have yeah. to forgive and move forward so yes. God can help love you. Love can come a multitude of sin, right? I said covers. I said, a cover mm-hmm. is a multitude of sin, right? Listen to me. To hear, um, oh my God, sorry about that. <laughs> to hear and learn more about Tiffany and her journey. And just to get involved in her everyday life, you could follow her over on um, YouTube at Tiffany I think you I think you do that part there, wrong, you know. Oh, me I do it. You, you Tiffany, know? I wish we can find them story here, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know me a drama man, you know. No. I told you, I know it, girl. Be a drama man. Nobody follow me. Which one can't find him story here, my sister? Gosh, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> what well, Tiffany LJ? Tiffany LJ. So, guys, as we said, she's a content creator too. And believe you me, me love our channel. 
Because it's a vlog channel, she, she, she cook, she take care of her kids, them, she do everything, she, she talk her stories, <laughs> decoration, decorating. Yeah. yeah so, so guys, <laughs> see our channel right here, sir, mm-hmm. and over there, so too. And it's going to be in our um, comment section and also yeah. in our, the description too, as well. And my sister, I just want to thank you for coming out. You see me big up yourself. Yeah. And oh, I'm big up with sponsor again. Big up to Pretty Business Skincare Product, where you get all of the nice skincare product them for your face, your underarm, even down under your crotch around this way, kind of dark, can clean it up too. All right, my people, big up Pretty Business, you can always shop their product at prettybusiness.com. Which power can I find Pretty Business, baby? Um, prettybusiness.com and Instagram, Facebook and TikTok, e- even Twitter at Pretty Business. Yeah, can I always find them to my people on YouTube at Pretty Business Skin Care. Yeah, and yeah, remember for find round the table talk on YouTube. And don't forget the barbecue. It's coming up May the 8th. Make it be a date Eat and team. don't be... Talk now, baby. <laughs> May 18th. Yeah, make it be a date, my people, and don't be late until the next episode of round table talk i just love and prosperity and we're gonna put god first in everything what we do god is good god is great we could thank him for what today everything